You know, in one hadith, the Prophet وسلم, says, whoever recites Ayat al-Kursi after every prayer of the five daily fard prayers, nothing, nothing stops him from entering heaven other than death. In other words, if this person recited Ayat al-Kursi after Dhuhr or Asr or Maghrib or Isha, then he died after that and before the following prayer, he or she makes their way to heaven. Why? Because of this ayah, because of recitation of the greatest ayah of the Quran after every prayer. Okay? So if I have a chance to recite it, and I have a chance to recite Al-Mu'awwidat, and I do it, and I do not do it, I, I would feel guilty. Alice? Uh, I don't want to bust, uh, because I, because sometimes, not sometimes, I lead the prayer for my revert uh, sisters. So Beautiful. I, I, when they finish and I stay and, and, you know, read the rest. So I feel like sometimes I might be like showing off. They might be thinking that okay. I'm showing off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, reading. I know what you're talking about. It happens with me all the time. I'm leading the prayer in the masjid. Then everybody comes, they want to shake hands, they want to ask questions. So I put my head down and I stretch out my fingers as a sign of leave me alone, I'm reciting my khitam salah Okay? I'm doing something which the Prophet ﷺ recommended. So by doing so, I actually encourage a lot of people to do the same. So my mind goes to encouraging others to do it, then Oh, they might think that I'm showing off. Are you showing off? No, then do it. No. You're okay. Okay? Thank uh, you, Sister Alice.